recruiting class came here off the 23 win season. Um, that's where we were, and we were starting from ground zero. Um, we got there, we had no commitments, we didn't have a signing class, we didn't, we didn't have anything. And uh, this group believed in our coaching staff, they believed in Mississippi State, and uh, you know, they are, this is our, really our first senior class um, at Mississippi State. And, uh, they, they came within an eyelash of winning the national championship, so we're, we're really proud of uh, those guys in our entire club. Have you ever had a team with this many leaders that you could turn to at, at any moment, so many different guys? Well, we, we do have great leadership, and certainly I've, I've been very fortunate in my coaching career to be around some great kids. Um, but this, this group is really special. Um, they, they have great vision, great liter- leadership. I, I think they could all kind of see us doing this, and I think that's half the battle. I, you know, I think UCLA, I, to give them credit, they just saw themselves winning a national championship to see it. I mean, and I'm not saying this in a negative way at all, but they, they got guys hitting 230, 250 who act like they're hitting 500. And uh, boy, you know, the, the, the mind is more powerful than the brain, and I, I think those guys... Uh, acted like they were supposed to win a national championship and they did and my hat's off to them and um, they're very well coached they did a great job but I I feel like this is an educational experience for myself our staff um, um, and, and we all can't wait to, to make another run at this because we feel like if we could uh, get here again that uh, you know we have a chance to win this soccer. John you mentioned at the podium that you know this is an educational experience for your kids too do you feel like you have freshmen and sophomores that know how hard it is to even get here and then now how hard it is to even get over this hump? I think so and you know what's amazing is your recruiting class even though they haven't stepped on campus they, those kids are watching everything we do and, they, and in some ways they're almost a part of this you know we had some freshmen uh, who didn't even dress out for this who, who were in Omaha and they got to experience some of this with our players you know, the Robsons, the, the Hans, you know, all those, and all our returning players, they, they have a taste for this. They know what it takes. You know, play 15 postseason games or thereabouts. They understand the grind. I think that's a big part of, you know, being successful. Coach, last night you talked about, you know, maybe UCLA's been here before, maybe this is just their year. Was there any hangover from last night, the way that the loss kind of unfolded for you guys? I don't think so. I, I just, you know, there were a lot of things that happened in this ball game that they just did better than we did, you know. I mean, they hung in there with the HPP, and, and we lost our identity and jumped out of the way. They, they fielded bunts, and uh, we didn't field bunts. They, uh, you know, they, they did a great job of what we call pattern two pitching, where the runner, you know, in scoring position. We did not. Um, you know, we. I mean, I don't know why we saved one of our worst games of the year for you know, on this stage. That part's disappointing, and I don't want to take away from the success of our kids over the long haul. But you know, we got crossed up you know, at home plate. We we just we did a ton of things the wrong way. We didn't control the running game the way I wanted to, but uh, again, I think if we can get to this point again, and we will, um, I, I think we can minimize some of those mistakes because we will have been here and, and done that. After the first inning, did you just see something? Sorry, Brad, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, after the first inning, there was just something you saw with Louise that you didn't didn't like there? Or was his yeah, arm I didn't, I didn't him? like them, him throwing balls that were barreled up. Um, that, 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 yeah. That's the biggest thing we didn't like. I, you know, I, I felt like something was wrong with Luis because he's one of the best defenders we have on our entire club, and he just whiffed on the bunt. You know, he went to go field that bunch and missed the whole ball, and then he tried to throw it 850 miles an hour to our first baseman. And, uh, when that happened, we felt like um, it wasn't Luis Poirena, who's who has been very successful for us at times, and uh, you know, feel really bad for him. I know how badly he wanted it. He had had a couple of, you know, he had a sore arm for a little while, and maybe he was trying to do too much, but. Uh, we felt like Ross was the, the next logical choice. Coach, after winning the six games in the postseason, did you and your wildest dream see it unraveling like it, like it did in these last two? Does that make that hurt? No, I, I didn't. I didn't. I really thought we'd hold it together and play better than we did. Um, you know, especially at this uh, at this level. But but we didn't, and we have to really focus on the positive things. Um, but uh, we had a ton of fly balls. We uh, you know we just we did a ton of things wrong in this ball game. But uh, Again, uh, you know, the easy thing is to say that there's whatever 290 teams would have loved to been in our position, but uh, when you are in this position, you got to finish. And, and I think our, that's that's the lesson we learned here. When you get the opportunity, you got to finish the job. And, and we didn't. And uh, to give UCLA a lot of credit, they're a big reason why we 
we didn't finish. John, when you uh, first got here, you know, we talked about it, but you saying, you know, you're going to win a national championship and, and everything. You had that confidence. Now, do you feel like everybody in, within the program also has that confidence? Well, you know, you can't do something until you believe it, and, and you got to keep building. And, you know, we've won postseason tournaments three years in a row. Uh, you know, we won a regional. Uh, we won an SEC tournament championship. I mean, you know, we won a, we won a, a regional, a, a super regional, and we got to the championship uh, series in, in, in Omaha. So, you know, I, I think we've been building, 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 and, uh, you know, all that helps the recruiting part of it. I think there are a ton of kids who want to be a part of the city state. At this point in time, I can tell you when we first got to Mississippi State, that was not necessarily the case. It was, it was <laughs> every part of it was, was a struggle, but we'll always be forever indebted to those kids who, who took a chance on us when things weren't going great in our program. And I think, you know, those kids are the reasons why we're, we're here today. You mentioned.